Former BBC News presenter Kate Silverton, 52, has exclusively told Express. Co.uk that she feels grateful to be able to collaborate with a company she is passionate about, Stocky, after leaving the broadcaster in 2021. BBC presenters are restricted from taking on certain external engagements outside of the broadcaster that could be seen as a conflict of interest. Stars are also urged to remain impartial, as the broadcaster states that those who are clearly identified with the BBC should act in ways that are consistent with the BBC's editorial values and policies. Kate, who recently qualified as a child therapist after quitting her BBC News role, is working with premium children's furniture brand Stocky to give advice to fellow parents on helping children build their own identity and flourish in adult life. When quizzed on whether it was challenging to remain impartial while working at the BBC, Kate divulged to Express. Co.uk, it's very nice now, to be able to have the sorts of associations that I can do with a company like Stocky. Obviously, I couldn't do that before. Countryfile star Matt Baker talks being skint with wife Nicola I think there comes a point, you know, M53, and it's nice to be in my space and to speak on matters that I am able to speak about, and I think I have my own sort of platform, really. So I guess, yeah, that does feel good. We all operate under those impartiality rules when we're at the BBC. But I guess now, I'm in a different stage where I'm able to speak about the matters that really matter and that I'm passionate about. Kate went on to share that she left the BBC to follow her passion for child psychology and children's mental health. She revealed, people say, do you miss, BBC News? I've always looked forward and I was just following my passion. The journalist also shared that she was motivated to sign up to Strictly Come Dancing in 2018 as she felt the move would allow her to branch out into her dream second career. Mum of 2 Kate explained, I did Strictly with a view because it wouldn't have been my natural leaning, as much as I loved it. But I did it, really, because it sort of had those seeds of wanting to create a second career. Don't miss. Jesse J unveils the daddy to my baby after struggle to keep things private, latest, Jane McDonald turns heads as she replaces Phil Schofield at British Soap Awards, picks. Gary Lineker uncomfortable over his salary as he admits Rocky Ride with BBC, comment, I mean, I didn't see it as a career, I see it as my life's work, and I knew I wanted to talk about children's mental health. And I thought, well, that's a really good way of having a platform to do that. After leaving the BBC to become a child therapist, Kate has teamed up with Stocky, a new study by the company looked at the concerns parents of 0-5 year olds have when raising their children. According to the study, 29% of parents of children aged 0 to 5 years were concerned about their child growing up shy, and 27% were worried about their child standing up for themselves. A quarter, 25% were also anxious about their child being able to make friends. Discussing the results of the study, Kate said, I think, given the last few years, it's really understandable that there are a lot of worries around our children and how they're developing. In light of some children lacking social interaction in their early years due to the COVID lockdown, Kate added, I do want to give a lot of reassurance to parents that the brain is very plastic, and it learns, so, please don't worry. But just know that if your child is expressing some form of any separation anxiety, being there alongside and working with them, and understanding that it's genuine fear that you can help them to overcome, is the best way forward.